Someone painted on my handbag. Find out what I got painted, who painted my bag, and see what she painted on my bag. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me in the babe cave today. I, yes, you heard right, I had commissioned Yoda style to hand paint on one of my quince bags and I sent her a picture. I just told her I'll just leave it up to your creative juices to figure out how the layout and what you wanted to do. I kind of give her free reign, her being an artist, and just give her what I want painted on it. And uh, so I'm not going to yabber up <laughs> very long about it, but so it is my Quince hobo bag. And I'll link this video down below. I was gifted this bag from Quince and it's a fabulous hobo bag soft pebbled leather but anyway what did she paint what was it and bam <laughs> so this is the flower that I wanted I'll show you up close and this is her interpretation of the stargazer lily I love all the colors the dots and the established 2012 is when me and my husband got married, so she added that for me. And I love all the greens and the pinks. Super cool with this kind of vanilla colored handbag. And then when I carry it, it'll be right there. So everyone can see my new artwork. <laughs> She commissions paintings like this on canvas more than probably a handbag, but I wanted her uh, to paint me one, and so it was not gifted. I paid Yoda, so if you ever want a handbag painted with whatever you uh, send her, then I I really love this flower. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think of my, my new painted Quince Hobo bag. And I also got a card from Yoda <laughs> and she just was thanking thank you for the opportunity to paint on your bag <laughs> I hope you love it I am truly blessed to know you and call you my friend much love Yoda so yeah got a card of course I did not get this free I, I paid her and so this is the picture I stuffed it before we could before I move on to the picture that I gave her. This is beautiful. I, I like it even more when it's filled up. This is the inspirational picture. If I can get this. <laughs> Here we go. And that is Yoda's interpretation of this flower. So what do you guys think? I think she did a good job. And I'm sure it's not the easiest to paint on a bag. I don't I don't know. I've never painted on one. But she did a fabulous job. Super happy with it. So if you ever want a handbag painted, go to Yoda Style. She has a channel here on YouTube, if you didn't already know that. And yeah, so I paid her to put me a flower on this uh, hobo that's plain. I wanted a little something to make it mine. So she did a really good job and I appreciate you Yoda. Thank you. And we have a running joke, me and Yoda. I call her Yoder because she for a long time kept calling me Amanda. My name is Andrea. <laughs> it's a joke. Um, I She's been awesome. A really good friend here on YouTube. So thank you again Yoda for painting that. And yeah, if you want to commission Yoda Hop on over to her channel or message her through Instagram and she'll hook you up and give you a, a good price for a hand-painted uh, handbag. 
bag of the day is my Carl Lagerfeld that I found at Saks off Fifth Avenue. And I'm gonna rock this for a little bit. It's it's such a soft, comfortable shoulder bag with the details of the denim. I'm in this one currently, but I will move into my painted goodie soon. So that is bag of the day. The Carl Lagerfeld Agnes, and I believe shoulder bag for me. It might be able to do crossbody, but it does not do that on me. Look how pretty the stitching and everything. Way cheaper than the denim soft tabby from Coach. And honestly, I love this bag. So that's the bag of the day. So the next thing I wanted to talk about, me and my husband and my daughter went thrifting. And we actually found stuff. <laughs> I did a video on my tips and tricks of thrifting and I'll link that video down below and you know I've gone weeks where I find nothing and then I'll find one thing maybe and I found that Brighton bag that was the last good thing I got well I went to Goodwill which I never find anything very often at Goodwill but I found three awesome things that I wanted to share with you and I couldn't believe that they were there. So, first off, this is a Daisy Love Marc Jacobs white tote with this metallic flower on it. And it's just a canvas material, shoulder like that. And here is the interior. It's clean. There was nothing on it. So if you're interested in a cute Daisy Love Marc Jacobs tote, I'm probably not gonna list it for very much, and it's currently not listed yet, but that is one of the items that we thrifted. The next thing we actually thrifted, my husband found first. <laughs> he always helps me search through the racks and he can kind of tell the brands and he can he's starting to figure out which ones to look for and so he found a Patricia Nash and this is the little medallion that came on it it's a 10th anniversary Patricia Nash uh, I believe it's called the Asher frame clutch the card inside said it was plum, so it came with the card from P Patricia Nash. So I'll give you an up close of this beautiful plum color. And then here is the back, and it does have a shoulder gunmetal type of chain, like that. But the coolest part about this bag, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen this, but so you just open it up here like that and then this is the opening it becomes like a well a box but yeah usually they don't open like this so I thought that was really neat and so it has one two three card slots and a zipper pocket on the other side there's the Patricia Nash logo clean inside and like I said the card came with it and the style number so yeah that was an excellent find I, I usually don't I've thrifted one Patricia Nash before this one is called a clutch because you can tuck in this chain if you didn't want to use the chain and put the metal medallion inside and then you could just carry it as a clutch. So yeah, that's really cute. And you have options. So I have this one currently listed for sale on Poshmark and Mercari if you're interested in it. It is on there. But yeah, really pretty. If you like the mock croc look. And this kind of is like a... It's almost a deep maroon purple, like I can't explain it. And this leather, I already cleaned and conditioned it, is so soft. So, that was our next find, a Patricia Nash. <clears throat> this next one had a tag on it, so they didn't even use this item. 
So when I saw it, I saw it like this and I'm like, is that a hobo Lauren wallet? And I was correct. Oops. There we go. So yeah, this is a hobo Lauren wallet and here is the original tag for it. And it's in the color gravel. So I love thrifting these Hobo International bags because I sell them on Hobo International website on their vintage location. You can shop, you can shop vintage or sell. And um, yeah, this is in the color gravel, silver hardware, and this is how it. The outside at first touch was dry, so I've conditioned it twice. And yeah, this is uh, the color gravel. And like I said, I have it listed. Uh, it's in review right now for on Hobo website. So if you're interested in this one, it's over there. <laughs> um, so it's in review. And then there's the Hobo logo. And I'll show you the... Here's the interior that it has on the zipper pocket. And then it has those card slots. Magnetic works really good. And then you just open up this side. And then you have a bunch of card slots inside. Lovely blue brown print inside. They always have those awesome interior. Here we go. They have, this one has a zipper pocket inside of it. I almost think that you can carry these with your phone. Let's just see. Okay, I just put my iPhone 15 Pro Max inside the zipper pocket. And voila. If you wanted just to bring this into the store and from your big tote, you could just pop, put your phone inside this pocket and your wallet and everything is right there. <laughs> Super pretty. I'm not even sure that they used this wallet because it still had the tag on it. I mean, but again, like I said, it was real dry feeling, so I moisturized it twice. The only scratch on it that I could see is right there. Uh, there. But other than that, it's in perfect condition. So, yes. Three items. I can't believe it. A lot's been going on in my life currently, and I have not felt the inspiration to film you know as a youtuber you you get a little down when your views are down and i think that's across the board right now it's summer people are on vacations they're maybe not buying as much or watching youtube as much and so it gives us as content creators a little less motivation because it takes a lot of work to put together your your video and edit and do all the things <laughs> and be in the mood to do it. <laughs> I have, you know, I have an unboxing coming uh, up. Yeah. So that is my Yoda uh, commissioned artwork that I put on my hobo bag. Beautiful, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. And of course my thrifted hobo Lauren wallet. And I believe this is the Asher clutch from Patricia Nash. And finally, a white Daisy Love Marc Jacobs tote. So, I have not listed the tote yet. I'm still not sure on that one. But this is listed and this is in review on Hobo International. Thank you all for watching my channel. And I am on Instagram, AKB Bags, if you want to follow me over there. And also I'm on Twitter. <laughs> and I am on Pinterest. But... Mainly what uh, I have, you know, my Instagram is when I alert people of videos that I'm popping up. Don't forget to share my channel. And thank you for all my new subscribers that have come aboard my channel. I appreciate you. And I want to say thank you again to Yoda for my commissioned piece. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.